What's up guys, KSWTV here back again with a brand new video, brand new Man City related video. And it's looking like on top of Calvin Phillips, there is a new incoming to the team, Stefan Ortega from Armenia Bielefeld to replace Zach Stefan as he looks like he's going out on loan to get more game time to secure a World Cup position. Let's talk about this. Now, it's pretty obvious with Manchester City with the links and what we're actually looking for. We need new left back. There's been a done deal, it looks like, with Calvin Phillips. It is now looking like we are going to get a new backup goalkeeper into the club, Stefan Ortega from Armenia. Belfeld, I hope I said that club right. Uh, he just went through the 21-22 season, uh, got, getting relegated in the Bundesliga down to Bundesliga 2 with the club finishing 17th out of 18 teams. He got six clean sheets out of 35 games. Now, me saying that might make you think, why the hell are we signing this player? He seems like he leaks goals for fun. But this guy has the second most shots saved in the competition behind Jan Sommer. Jan Sommer with 131, Ortega with 128. He also ended the season with a 73.7% uh, save percentage, which is actually insane. Every three, every three, Out of every four shots, sorry, he saves three of them. Guaranteed with the stats here. Every four shots, he gets three. And we've seen with Edison the last couple of seasons, there have been times where we're thinking, You've got to save these goals, Edison. He gets himself into weird positions. And there's been times where he should have been saving some goals that he hadn't, and it's costed us games in the Premier League and in the Champions League. But this guy looks very, very good. He's a 29. I uh, just turned 29, actually. Uh, he's a German uh, local, and he's been playing a lot of his uh, career in the back ends of the Bundesliga 2, I think it's called in the second division and he's come up i think from 1860 munich then to armenia Bielefeld, got promoted with him and then obviously last season got relegated with the club finishing 17th he also uh, not last season but the season before actually ended uh, with a 0.33 percent chance of highest uh, expected assists out of europe's top five leagues which is crazy because if you look for a goalkeeper for manchester city What's the number one thing that Pep wants and the team wants? Distribution. He's up there in the top five goalkeepers across the top five leagues with the highest expected assists percentage. That's crazy. So this guy, obviously, YouTube clips and clips on the internet don't justify and give enough credit to the players. You only get their best parts. You don't see the bad parts where he's leaking in goals. Obviously, as I say, he's been relegated, so he's leaked quite a few. Uh, the season that just came but this guy looks like a serious goalkeeper I think this guy could be the best backup goalkeeper in world football if he comes to Manchester City there's been some crazy goals that should have went in that I watched in these clips it's like a cat so quick with his hands his positioning is great he's really good at predicting where that ball's going to go he's really switched on in the mind and there's a clip where he saves the goal, it's on the line, and he puts his hand up and whacks it, and it comes off the crossbar, and it looks like it's going to bounce straight back in, but he, he kind of falls back, and as he falls back, he pushes the ball out. It's crazy. I thought it was Kevin Trapp when I watched it on Facebook, and then I watched YouTube highlights, and it ended up being Stefan Ortega, and I thought that's one of the best saves I've ever seen in my life. I think this guy, obviously, on a free transfer, could be one of the best bit of businesses we've ever done that the Premier League's ever done for a goalkeeper. Uh, obviously, as I said, he's going to be a backup goalkeeper, but that doesn't mean he cannot push Edison to be the number one goalkeeper. Obviously, when you're a second choice goalkeeper at Manchester City, you're guaranteed, I'd say, every single Carabao Cup game. I think you're, if we're going off Zach Steffen last year, you're guaranteed every FA Cup game. And I think that. For the teams that are coming up from relegation, I think he will play against the Bournemouths, the Fulhams, the Nottingham Forests, maybe the Southamptons, uh, if Edison needs a rest or he's getting little niggles. But I think that this is a great bit of business. Obviously, we've signed James Trafford for a new extension on his contract, the young 20-year-old who's on loan now to Bolton. So I think that uh, this guy is a definite someone I want in the club. He comes with experience. Obviously, as I said before, he's got crazy saving ability. 
he's going to need to improve on his distribution. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, obviously, no one's going to be on the same level as Edison. It's non-comparable. But I think Pep can do magic, can do wonders with any player that he comes into the team. So Stefan Ortega, I'm happy with him coming into the club. If the boys are in behind the scenes at Manchester City and all the staff and everything are happy to bring him in. So Stefan Ortega, it looks like it could be a done deal, as I said, at the end of this week in the next couple of days or early next week. So it looks like within the period of two to seven days, this can be a done deal. Personal terms are agreed. Hopefully he comes into the team and Zach Steffen gets the uh, minutes that he thinks he deserves because it, it'd be a shame if he doesn't get picked in the USA team for the World Cup. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think this is a good signing? Hit the like and subscribe button, bell notification as always so you never miss a video. Join the Man City Global Fan Group on Facebook. I'll put the picture right here and the link will be in the description. Over 400,000 members at the time of recording. Any transfer news, injury news, playing news, game news, any interviews, anything like that, the Manchester City will be featured on there. You won't miss anything. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.